I am pleased to see action from the Calgary Board of Education and I had a very good conversation with the chair of the Catholic School Board this morning. Uh, so let's deal with them both. Um, so I'm happy to see the Board of Education taking action and I'm sure that their next steps will be to work with the Indigenous community to make sure this is done properly. To make sure that the students and faculty and staff go through a process and ceremony to make sure this is right. Um, the other thing that I would suggest is perhaps Riverside School may be a temporary name uh, and there may be a better way to name the school to acknowledge history. You know, when we renamed the bridge, Reconciliation Bridge was carefully chosen with the knowledge keepers, but also there is a giant plaque <laughs> that explains the history, that explains who it was. We're not about erasing the history, we're about really talking about how we move forward together as a community. And to that note, the Calgary Catholic School Board has been engaged for some time, for several months, in a respectful conversation with Indigenous communities about the right way to move on this. Uh, that they are committed to recognizing the role of the faith uh, in residential schools, in the history, in making sure that students are educated for that, and in making sure that they do this the right way. Um, and I know for some folks you might feel a little impatient, like do it now, but at the same time, you do want to get it right. And I was happy to hear that commitment from the Catholic School Board to move forward in a way that gets it right. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission tells us that we can document 3,000 children who died. There are probably 6,000 or more children who died. So we've known. But it would be churlish to say, too little, too late, because it's not too little. And if this heartbreaking revelation for so many, especially for parents, of these 215 children is what it takes for us to spur ourselves to real action. If we can take our sadness and our anger and our reflection and turn it into action and that action can happen quickly, that's a good thing because we've been waiting far too long.